Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from one that shows that Eminem's The Death of Slim Shady is pretty much recreating what happened in the entertainment space back in the early 2000s. Oh, word for word, bar for bar. As while talking heads like Candace Owens and Andrew Tate have been going off at the other end of the spectrum, the group who pride themselves as quote progressives have stayed on Eminem's neck so far and they are beginning to hit back just like it was in the early 2000s and critics have panned the latest album so bad even some Eminem critics are in shock and we'll expand on this in a bit as while this was on latest reports came in that showed Eminem is tracking to earn the biggest rap opening of 2024 so far in the United States all while the death of Slim Shady is taking casualties in international markets as seen in the United Kingdom and these reports have gotten even casuals questioning the narratives about Eminem that have lingered for years seeing as posts like these recently went viral on Twitter nearly a quarter million likes a collection that included Eminem, Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj in response to the post sometimes it is okay to just retire from music and know your time has passed and if you thought this was bad this response response also blew up. Everyone that has risen up against Mariah Carey has fell hard. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a glimpse of what is causing the confusion even for casuals following the latest projections for Eminem's new album and we'll expand on this in a bit and even rap legend Twista had a request for Eminem which we'll get to later. And today we also have more from 50 Cent who is facing political backlash right now due to rumored reports and we'll get to this later and it is quite fascinating that people still don't know a thing about 50 Cent, a man who sometimes spends all day on IG showing people people that he's not some moral hero or some beacon of virtue and we'll get to this later. And yes, before we dive in, Soldier Boy is back with one of those rants and this time he took aim at Drake to slam the rapper based on how his battle with Kendrick Lamar turned out. First he tweeted, you disappointed me, Drake, and he expanded, doing all them weak bomb songs with them dudes, look where it got you, none of them dudes you collabed with or took on tour had your back. However, some have hit back at Soulja Boy because they believe Drake did all that for selfish reasons similar to Wiley's argument that we explored recently about how Drake was using UK rappers to penetrate the market for selfish reasons. Man them who are not from the hood, they come to places, try and get involved with man from the hood. You know what it is, Adot? The truth is, he's just a pagan and he knows it. If you're a good you and you grew up in the suburbs and all of a sudden you become a rapper, do you know what you do? You gravitate to where you never came from. And the user expanded all facts. I keep telling MFers, big time rappers, hop on remixes to further push their own brand. They hot right now, let me capitalize and attach my name to every hot song that came out. They don't do ish out of love, nobody really F with Drake. However, some have chalked this down to album promo as Soldier Boy has a new album dropping later this month. And moving on, when it comes to critical reception so far, it is literally the polar opposite of what what hip-hop fans and rappers have been saying about Eminem's latest album as while many fans even claim that this is top three or top five all time for Eminem albums, critics on the other hand have been furious at this album. In fact, just so you know, according to critics, this is Eminem's worst album ever, lower rated than Revival, lower than Encore, and mind you, users have been blocked from reviewing or rating the album, so basically critics are running rampant, review bombing the album at the moment, all while the actual listeners that this was made for aren't allowed to review the album on Metacritic. And some of these reviews have gone viral. From Pitchfork, for instance, Sexy Red's Hood Hottest Princess has a higher rating than anything Eminem has made in over 20 years. And this sparked reactions like, this picture tells you everything you need to know about reviews. Go study the background and politics of the clowns reviewing the music. Good thing is, we are getting away from caring or reading these people's crap. And as it stands, latest albums from Sexy Red, I Spice and Megan Thee Stallions all clear anything that Eminem has put out in nearly 20 years. But this is exactly how the Slim Shady LP got reviewed when it first dropped. 
although many of these publications went back to scrub their original reviews when they found out that hip-hop fans considered the album a classic. Suffice to say, we are back in business, and if the theory we covered in the last video turns out to be legit about listening to the album in reverse, which actually flows nicely, so if this is legit, we should expect more from Slim Shady in the near future, so brace yourselves for more tears from critics and also the likes of Candace O and Andrew Tate at the other end. And speaking on the audience that this was made for, actor and rapper Paige Kennedy has been going on and on about the quality of this album. Safe to say we know his favorite songs right now. He tweeted, what's your favorite song off Eminem album? I love Antichrist and Lucifer Super Dope 2. Oh, and I forgot Guilty Conscience too. And he added, the end of Head Honcho is why Eminem is technically better than any other human being born with putting words to phrasing with humorous perspective, he is able to coalesce these aspects like you would imagine AI could do in the future, but he does it with his brain, god tier. And this is similar to what Tech 9 recently explained in his own way when he was asked about battling Eminem when he said Eminem is not just technically goat tier but also witty with the pen. He's super witty as well, you know what I'm saying? I, when, I, when I look at a lyricist we pay attention to people yeah. who take it that extra mile when it comes to rhyming words. Yep. Eminem is at the top of that game. And moving on, first week projections are in. And starting with the United Kingdom, while Houdini is expected to return to number one this week, early reports for the death of Slim Shady suggest number one is locked in for the album in the United Kingdom. And the report from the official charts company added the Detroit rapper is outselling his closest competition more than three to one at the midweek mark as lead single Houdini tracks a return to the official singles chart summit for a third non-consecutive week. And over in the United States, projections are between 270 to 300,000. Check this out for instance. Eminem's The Death of Slim Shady is expected to sell 300,000 plus units first week and debut at number one. It will be the biggest sales week for any rap album so far this year. However, these projections have sparked some interesting reactions so far, even from quote, new school rap fans, as takes like these blew up. 300,000 first week 25 plus years into your career is crazy. And some have reminded those blown away by this, especially since this is without physical sales because for some reason, they aren't shipped until September. For some reason, <laughs> Eminem literally admitted that he suffers from post-traumatic leak disorder. Stress dramatic. <laughs> Post-traumatic what? Post-traumatic leak, Post leak disorder is what I had. And on this note, some have added, Eminem has stayed on top. He's shown what longevity in rap can look like. It is an unprecedented run, and some pop fans are losing their minds. Seeing as just hours before this, we saw posts go viral about how Eminem needs to retire, and now they are wishing, for the first time, I actually want Taylor to block someone. And some are now asking, Wait a minute, seen a viral post listing people that need to retire, and he was one of the people on it, lol, something not adding up. So clearly, viral on Twitter and real life aren't the same thing, and some believe it is more about wishful thinking. They want the greats to retire so it'll be easy to lower the bar. And in Eminem's case, this is spot on, seeing as he'd easily treat any rapper below 40 like a choice, choose them with ease. And seeing as Drake's unofficial speaker, academics also posted this, it is clearly not just pop fans crying about this level of success, as some quote hip-hop fans are also in tears. Check this out. White people just buy white people's albums regardless, cause it was mid. And the fact that this is said about Eminem's latest album that nearly every hip-hop media personality and rapper has praised is wild. It is so hard for some people to break away from their programming. It is sad. And some have fired back with, no, Eminem is one of the greatest lyricists of all time and true rap fans know this. This album was for the OG fans who grew up on Slim Shady. And mind you, we 
have a whole post that shows the death of Slim Shady topped the charts in over a dozen African countries. And moving on, 50 Cent has been caught up in some backlash on the web that started after the incident with former president of the United States that led to this. 50 Cent's Many Men has entered the top 10 on US iTunes following the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. And shortly after, 50 Cent shared this meme on IG. LOL laughing emoji, it do be getting crazy out here. Now it's clear that I'm here for a real reason. Cause he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Replay that shit. Replay that shit. Y'all don't know, man. He's talking that shit. He's talking that shit on this track. And y'all don't know. Y'all don't know because y'all ain't been through that. Y'all ain't. But things escalated quickly when reports hit the web a few hours ago. CNN reporting that 50 Cent may make an appearance during the Republican National Convention. And boy, this sparked backlash for 50 Cent as users started going in. But I get scolded when I say black men in the industry are problematic. Taraji P. Henson did the work in elevating awareness on Project 2025. And here comes this, only cares about his own pockets, trying to help bring that danger to the White House. But I find it even more surprising that people are shocked by this, seeing as 50 Cent during the last election cycle already sparked a crap storm back then when he revealed that he would rather vote for Trump over Biden due to tax reasons. In fact, he moved from New York over tax reasons if I recall. And in my opinion, 50 has made it abundantly clear that he will put himself over strangers any day of the week. He's never tried to hide this. So I'm surprised that users are shocked by this. And I believe most celebrities you know are like this in secret. Hell, most people are like this. And the users who missed what happened in 2020 are going off. Now, I don't feel so bad laughing at 50 Cent's halftime performance a few years back. They had that dumb bastard hanging upside down. MFA almost had a stroke, lol. And some are now wondering, so many artists supporting him this year. But I do hope people do their research and vote based on their own beliefs. And speaking on 50 Cent, videos like this have already hit the web. And this got some wondering. It is always hilarious to me how Eminem despises Trump and yet 50 seems receptive to Trump as well. And we got some experts to weigh in. <laughs> Eminem is white. He doesn't have the luxury of being able to be both accepted in hip-hop and a Trump-supporting Republican. 50 gets side-eyed, but Eminem would be exiled, lol. And some have called for Eminem to come get his guy. And Twister made a request for Eminem a few hours ago. He tweeted, I need to spit a verse on the Fuel song at Eminem. And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on these topics below, especially your take on critics versus hip-hop fans when it comes to Eminem's latest album. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.